All right, guys, welcome to another FPV Guide video. As you know, I'm out cruising in a drone 2016, and one of the companies I'm coming across here is Straight Up Imaging. I, I was kind of walking past and I saw this big red thing, and the first thing I was thinking, oh, somebody is selling Simto drones. And then I looked a little bit closer and I was like, that's not a Simto drone. <laughs> and here's Eric from Straight Up Imaging. Eric, why don't you tell us about this? Sure. So uh, we're a group of engineers and pilots that we've got a lot of experience both on the hobby side and also on the defense side. And we saw an opportunity to uh, create a UAV for commercial purposes that's uh, very versatile. You can carry a lot of different payloads. It's elegant. It folds into a nice form factor. And just overall creates an easy way for uh, operators with really any experience level to get some useful data out of a drone. So, and, and I know from what I've been listening here, you can operate this with an iPhone, and you can operate it with sticks. Yes, um, it's, we use an Android app, it's, it's Tower, actually a lot of people that use Pixox or Arch Pilots are already familiar with it. Um, so we do a lot of mission planning using that. Um, we've got transmitter as well, we, uh, we use high-tech components in our aircraft if, if pilots want to do some manual flying. Right. What kind of flight time are we getting here? We're getting about 25 minutes uh, loaded up with the payload, uh, plus a little bit of reserve for returning to home when the battery is low. Uh, which which is a serious thing for commercial yeah, users because a, we don't really want to fly an expensive camera out there the, uh, and crash it just because we got we decided to fly the battery empty. For sure, uh, yeah, safety is, is definitely in mind and, and also. What is that? That's not a GPS. This is a strobe light. Uh, so this this is one of the first small UAS that the FAA has given approval for night flights. So, so this is a this is signed off for night flight as a model. It is uh, or. It's still a case-by-case -case basis with the FAA, but we've had operators successfully operate these at night with FAA permission. And you can see the here's the strobe light on top, and there's another strobe light down on the bottom here, so that when you fly, it's going to be visible to other aircrafts. On the back here, we have the telemetry control antenna. Yep. And that's a 915, it says on it. It is. So that's a good, that's a control frequency that's going to allow you to reach out much further than a 2.4 just simply because it has got more energy in it. Of course, that doesn't mean you should try to fly out 15 miles. That's not what a strong control link is about. It's all about when you're flying 500 yards, knowing you're not ever going to be without a control link, you're in charge of your aircraft. For sure. And we have set up the aircraft. We've got fail safes for loss of link. Um, if it's flying an autonomous mission, it'll actually continue and complete the whole mission, even if the link is in and out, and then return home afterwards. So when you have loss of link, you don't have to worry about whether the aircraft's going to fly away or even whether it'll complete its mission. It will, and then it'll fly home. And now, one of the things you don't easily see here, but when I was walking past, I noticed a FLIR view camera sitting on the counter because I've got one of those at home. It's like, wait a minute, these guys made a three-axis payload. And when you look at this thing here, what you can see is it has two bolts and you'll see they made a payload rail underneath. And right here, if you look at it right here, is a payload rail. You can hang a payload. It can be a DSLR sensor. It can be a thermal sensor for search and rescue. So you have a ton of easily swap in payloads, and that's really going to be big in the next year as people are starting to use these, not for hobby, but for commercial jobs. For sure. Uh, we've noticed payload technology cameras are moving very quickly. We don't want to have to design a new aircraft every time a new payload comes along. So it's important to us that we can accommodate lots of different payloads as time goes on on this aircraft, both with the hardware, with how the payload connects, and also the software that interacts. So when I buy into this system, I can simply create, or you can create, new payload packages for my company in the future. For sure. We've already done things like radiation sensors, we've done cameras with optical zoom, um, all sorts of different kind of unique payloads that we can accommodate without having to do big redesigns of our aircraft. Which, so to get into the platform, if I'm a part 107 operator, I want to start doing this and shoot thermal imaging for a roof or solar panel inspection. What does it cost me to get yeah, into this system? The thermal imaging package is on the higher end um, because of the clear views cost. It's about 15k or so. 
Um, but we do, we sell them as complete systems. They're made in the United States. Uh, we partner with domestic suppliers as well. So, so, so the aircraft yeah. and the thermal camera package is about 15K. Yes, and that'll include also a, either a hard case or a backpack system, from Go Professional Cases. <laughs> um, it includes the ground equipment, three batteries, yeah. <laughs> and a tablet as well. So, so before you scream about the 3K, it's a complete system here. It's complete. With, with a 640 by 480 FLIR view, a real camera, not a rebranded something from somewhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is not like a, a thermal camera for my iPhone. No, it is not. This is um, this is one of the top thermal cameras you can buy without being subject to things like ITAR regulation. Yeah, and you have the micro SD. You have the new one. We've got the new one. Yeah. I don't have a micro SD recording on mine. Yeah, recording is, is great because we can capture all the imagery we want and review it later. Yeah. And don't have to record through a DVR or something that'll pick up all the glitches over FTV. Which is what I get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sucks. And I noticed you have a secondary camera up here. This actually, this was a unique build for one of our customers. It's not a camera, it's an infrared illuminator. So um, it, was a, it was a law enforcement customer and this creates, it looks like a dot from a laser pointer, but it's only visible in night vision goggles. So Interesting. The, the law enforcement officers can see where the camera is pointed, but nobody else can. Okay guys. I don't think that's something I'm going to be needing in the near future, <laughs> but it is a nifty setup. I love that they have interchangeable and they also have larger center cameras over here, interchangeable payloads. At 15,000, it's obviously not a hobby device, but it is a commercial operator kind of aircraft. For sure. Eric, thank you so much for showing this to me. Thank you. I appreciate it. And we'll talk more later on email and maybe get some video of them flying and stuff like that. So guys, stay tuned. Click on the corner of the screen here, click subscribe, because more videos from Interdrone 2016 is coming up. It's a cool event.